body, and that's so that all the other sensors in the aircraft can determine an exact point for the missile. The second, brighter laser that's easier to see, is the beacon illuminating laser. And it points at the aim point and measures distortion at the atmosphere. When lasers go through the atmosphere, they disperse. If we want to kill missiles, we have to keep it tight. And we've developed technology that allows it to do that, and it's this laser that gives us the data we need. Now, not conducted in the test, but what would happen next is then the high-powered laser would kill the missile. So if you would play the video. What you see here in the lower left corner is the plume, infrared plume of the missile coming up left to right. These other spots are just distortions from the canopy, but you'll see right there the first laser on the missile. It's traveling very fast. There's the second larger laser tracking that missile through flight. I know it may not seem like a lot on the video, but that is a true, true marvel in technology. A lot of people, a lot of time invested in figuring out how to do this. It'll loop on this screen, and I'll show it here as well. But you'll see going from left to right, the missile. If you watch, you'll see a bit of a flashlight light laser coming out of the nose of the aircraft, right? There, and now the larger laser. The only piece of the whole kill chain not tested in this sequence is the firing of the high-powered laser, and that's what actually kills the missile. In November or December, the airborne laser is scheduled to conduct a full test.